Yes, my dear. What would you like to have? <laughs> hey, hey, take it easy, Gopi. Oh, oh, calm down, calm down, Gopi. Why are you running after me? Leave me alone. <laughs> Saved by a whisker. <laughs> Let's see what all is available today. Red tomatoes, rosy carrots, leafy green spinach, and all purple brinjals. I have everything here, Amma, except me. Oh, what are you doing on the tree? It's not by choice, Amma. Gopi chased me up the tree. He forced me to climb it. <laughs> no, Gopi. Amma, cunning fruit. This is a jackfruit. Cunning fruit. Jackfruit. Cunning fruit. Jackfruit. Cunning fruit. Jackfruit. Come on, stop it, huh? both of you. This is a jackfruit <laughs> and a cunning fruit. That is a cunning jackfruit. Are you both happy? Jackfruit now? is a fruit, <laughs> not a vegetable. How can it be two things at once? <laughs> it is possible, Uncle. You will come to know once you hear the story of the cunning jackfruit. The cunning jackfruit, Amma. Now I'm really curious. You have to tell us this story now. Uh, please tell me this story. We, we want, want to, to listen, listen to the, to the story, story too, too Amma. It's story time with Sudhama. A merchant named Bhaskar used to sell his goods in Vijayanagar's market. But this time, apart from his fruits, grains and other goods he sold, he had something else in his cart. And that was his chubby little son, Bhanu Varma. Bhanu, come look around from here. You wanted to see Vijayanagar, didn't you? City father. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> hey, how are you, Uncle? I'm fine, Bhaskar. Bhanu, yes? give this gift basket to Chiranji, Uncle, uh, okay? Sure. Uh, uncle, Uncle. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. What's this? Uh, uh. Huh? Ah, ghost! Huh? Ghost! Ghost! Huh? Save me! Save me! Oh, I almost forgot. Bhaskar's friend Chironji was a trader of cotton, wool, and other clothing goods. <laughs> Chironji, uncle! So, Yay! this time my little merchant friend has also come. <laughs> Bhanu, my son, take this huh? coin and have huh? fun at the market while huh? I and Chironji uncle will finish some important huh? work. Okay, ah. father. <laughs> 
Bhanu Verma went around the market with the same excitement as that of a calf roaming freely in an open field. It was full of colorful shops, game stalls, and street performers. Aroma. Jalebi. Buy four for just one. What a steal! Come and get it! Get it! Just four for one? In my village, we get six for one. Then go back and buy them. Come and buy. One huh? for just one <laughs> coin. You huh? won't find it cheaper anywhere else. Just one coin for such a large fruit? This is a jackfruit, son. Huh? Ask your elders, they'll agree. Huh? Nothing comes close. Not huh? even candies or jaggery. Go on, huh? have a taste. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Huh. Here's your coin, uncle. Huh? Huh? But this fruit is full of thorns. That's the peel. Cut it and eat the fruit inside. Hmm? Is it? Yeah. I'm definitely like my merchant father. I bought such a large fruit for just one coin. Father will be very happy. Hmm. Wow. Oh, thorns. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. What do I do? What do I do? Mmm, wow. Forget jaggery or candy sugar. Even honey doesn't taste this good. It tastes sweet, uh, but it is very sticky. Uh, uh, hey, let go of my hand. Uh, 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 this is even sticking to my clothes. I think he's having too much fun at the market. He will probably be back by the time we return from the royal palace. Then let's freshen up and leave. Come. His Majesty must be waiting for us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Bhanu Varma, tired from roaming around all day, fell fast asleep in his hiding place. Uh. Chungi, looks like there is nobody in this house. Uh, uh, oh, they look like thieves. Uh. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Come on, let's take all the sheep we can carry, Chungi. Hi. Huh? Uh, Mungi, look. Look at this big fluffy thief. Yes, this one is as good as four. If I scream, everyone will show up here, including father. No, no, it's better. Better if I stay quiet. Chungi, are you sure? We didn't just steal a baby elephant instead of a sheep in the dark? My back is about to break holding it for so long. Come on, wake up. Mungi, looks like the sheep is too tired. <laughs> Just look, it's sleeping so peacefully. A sheep that sneezes? Uh, uh, I'm not 
Rishi. I'm Bhanu Verma. Mangi, this is a talking <laughs> sheep. This is not a sheep. <laughs> it's a ghost. Ghost. Yeah. I am so scared. Huh? Uh, me too. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a ghost. What do we do now? Hey, stop! Don't you say hello to this ghost? Hey, come on, let's play together. Hey, this seems to be Bhanu's voice. Bhanu, my son, why are you dressed like this? Uh, uh, father, you? Mm. I didn't do anything. It's all that cunning jackfruit's fault. <laughs> The trick is to apply oil on your hands before you touch the jackfruit. But it's fine. At least you learn something new. <laughs> that's uh -huh. true. What's in that bag, father? Bhanu, that's a gift from His Majesty King Vidyadhar. <laughs> wow, what's that in it? Huh? That cunning jackfruit again? I don't want to get into any sticky situation again. <laughs> now, do you understand? The jackfruit is called a cunning fruit, as well as a cunning jackfruit. Amma, it was more fun listening to the jackfruit story than having a jackfruit curry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.